hello students in this video we are going to see about the cone so in cone we are going to learn about we are going to learn three things curved surface area of a cone total surface area of a cone and volume of a cone so we are all know very well about cone so how cone will be so if we so what is this it is a circle so this is the center of the circle so you and this is sector this is minor sector and this is major sec sector we will cut the cut along through the radius so if we take any one sector of a circle so any one sector of a circle okay this is a sector of a circle so if we roll along with its radius if we roll this sector along with radius it will form a if we roll this see for your understanding i am just explaining here what we are trying to do we are rolling it and we are making it as a as a cone so so if take any one sector of a circle and roll that sector along with its radius then when the radius when these two exactly these two will be same because they are radius they, they are equal so when it becomes a cone the slant height the radius of a sector become the slant height it will be denoted by l actually l is radius okay so this is the general structure of the cone and this will be the base radius of a cone and the, this is height of the cone okay this is the cone so when you think about when we think about uh, the curved surface area of a cone except this bottom area only we have to find the curve the curve area okay so csc of the cone to find the formula of csc of a cone we all know area of a sector circle the ratio of area of a sector and the area of a circle will be equal to the length of the arc by circumference of the circle so the area of a sector so if we roll this sector it will form a cone so the curved surface area of your cone must be the area of a sector so this this is the csa of a cone so area of a sector is equal to length of the arc divided by circumference of a circle into this area of a this area of a circle so the length of the arc we can take it as s that is 2 by r we can substitute later then the circumference of a cone is circumference is 2 by r here the radius r becomes the slant height so 2 pi l then the radius 2 pi 
r becomes l so 2l square sorry pi r pi r square so area of a circle is pi r square the r radius become the slant height by l square so this is 2 by r the length of the arc is 2 by r so 2 pi r by 2 pi l into pi l square so this pi pi will be cancelled 2 2 will be cancelled l and l square will be cancelled remaining this r into pi l therefore csa area of a sector this area of a sector the same sector with the same surface become the csa of a cone so area of a sector equal to csa of a cone pi r l same only so this is the area of a uh, curved surface area of a cone so you have to keep uh, this formula in your mind csa of a cone csa of a cone is pi r l pi is 22 by 7 radius base radius r and l is slant height this slant height okay clear then what about tsc i will do it here see tsc is csa plus the curved surface area plus this bottom area plus bottom so tsa of a cone tsa of a cone csa pi r l plus the bottom is like a circle so pi r square what are the common things pi r into l plus r square unit so this is the formula tsa then what about the volume of a cone I will explain here volume of a cone is equal to see I want to say one thing cone then this one more cone is here so you assume that these three cones are base radius r r and h h height h height h so these three cones are identically same exactly same the volume of all the three cones are same because same height and same radius so definitely identically same therefore their volume must be same then this is cone 1 cone 2 cone 3 then draw take one cylinder with the same with the same base here also radius with same base radius but it is a with same height but it is a cylinder same height same radius same height same radius same height same all these three height is same all these three uh, base is same base radius is same so what will happen if we put this first cone into this if you put this first cone into this thing cone 1 cone 2 then cone 3 so the volume of this this cylinder will be equal to sum of the three cones will be equal so three times area of a cone i am going to write here three times three into volume of a sorry volume of a cone will be equal to 3 times the volume of a cone will be equal to volume of cylinder. So, volume of cone volume of cone is equal to this 3 will come here 1 by 3 volume of 
cylinder so volume of cone is equal to 1 by 3 into volume of cylinder by r square h this is the volume of a cone tsa of a cone and csa of a cone csa of a cone pi r l tsa of a cone pi r l plus r volume of a cone 1 by 3 by r square h are you clear so in the cylinder uh, sorry in the cone this is base radius r so the height will be perpendicular to the center of this base circle that is h this is slant height slant height and this is altitude or actual height this is base base radius okay base radius is r height is h l is slant height so to find the csa we no need height we need slant height and base radius and think about and this in this cone the height and radius are perpendicular to each other so if we take this triangle it will be like this r h l it will be a right angle triangle so because height is perpendicular to the radius and slant height so square of the hypotenuse using pythagoras theorem the square of the hypotenuse l square equal to h square plus r square this is also one more formula okay to find the l h square square root of h square plus r square to find h square root of l square minus r square to find r l square minus h square square root of okay these are the three formula we, we can derive from the from this right angle triangle L H and R. Okay. So in the find the curved surface, curved surface area of a cone whose slant height and radius means we can directly apply in the formula. The slant height value, then radius value, then we can simplify, we can find the answer. But radius and if they are giving radius and height, we have we have to find the slant height. So we can use this formula we can use h and r to find l after finding the l we can substitute and we can find the csa similarly we can solve all the problems okay very good do you understand the formulas only in this video we have discussed totally six formulas csa of a cone by r tsa of a cone by r l plus r volume of a cone 1 by 3 by r square h then using the right triangle triangle Slant height is equal to square root of h square plus r square. h is equal to l square square root of l square minus r square. And r is equal to square root of l square minus h square. l is slant height, height h, h means height, r is base radius of a cone. That is all very simple. So, in the exam mainly we will use the formula. So, we have to keep the formula in our mind. Whenever we need, we can apply the formula or we can find the answer. Okay, good. Thank you.